And we are rolling. Hey guys, it's your buddy Jake Dominguez, back with another movie review. Today, I'm going to review the movie that I know all of you wanted to, to hear my opinion on. The movie everyone on Earth has been wanting to see, that everybody asked for, that everybody wanted. Triple X, The Return of Xander Cage. <laughs> I couldn't keep a straight face. In all seriousness, I'm going to do my very best to keep this a very fair review. Does it sound good? I'm going to do my best. Triple X, The Return of Xander Cage is the third movie in the Triple X franchise. The first Triple X was directed by Rob Cohen, the same guy who directed the first Fast and Furious movie. And of course, stars Vin Diesel as well. And the second film, Triple X... State of the Union? Is that what it's called? Yeah, State of the Union, I think. Did not have Vin Diesel return. It starred Ice Cube. And was directed by, I believe his name is Lee Tamahori. He also directed um, Die Another Day, I, I think was his movie. That was his James Bond movie. Yeah, it wasn't very good. <laughs> And this third movie is directed by DJ Caruso, the same guy who brought us Eagle Eye and Disturbia, which is actually a really good movie. Uh, last year's The Disappointments Room, which I didn't see. Apparently, according to a lot of people who I've talked to, should probably keep it that way, but I uh, did see that one. And yeah, Vin Diesel is back, hence the, hence the title, The Return of Xander Cage. Now let me, guy, let me tell you guys about this real quick, about me going into this movie. This is a movie that it's going to be easy to dismiss. I've talked to other people, even when I told them, I'm going to go see Triple X, The Return of Xander Cage today, and sure enough, it was just like, oh, real, that movie? Ah, oh, stupid action movie. And that's to be understood. And I feel like that's the reaction to the news that this movie was being made at all. You know, even I was joking about it in the beginning, because how could I not? And, yeah, it's just a dumb stupid summer action movie only it's not the summer it's in january the dumping ground for movies so i feel like a lot of people were dismissing it for that but you know what i am a fan of a good guilty pleasure action movie i love guilty pleasure action movies to be honest and that's fine in fact i was pretty excited to see this movie let me tell you i'm actually a big fan of vin diesel he seems like an awesome nice guy and I'm a big fan of his movies. I genuinely love, love, the Fast and the Furious films. In particular, Fast Five, Fast and Furious Six, and I, Furious Seven was really, really good as well. And I'm pumped out of my mind for the new one coming out later this year. I also really like the first one. The second one, eh, third one was okay. It was better. I liked it. It was, it was fun for what it was. Fourth one was good. It was definitely returned back to the form. But once they got the Fast Five, man, I really do love those movies. And I'm going to talk more about that in the future. But I'm a big fan of Vin Diesel. I think he's a good actor, a much better actor than people give him credit for. Come on, he's the voice of the Iron Giant. He's the voice of Groot. And he's in Saving Private Ryan, one of my favorite movies. And I love his character of Dominic Toretto in The Fast and the Furious. And one thing I really like about Vin Diesel is that he produces his own movies. Say what you will about the guy and about his acting or anything, but he knows what roles are the best for him. And a the Fast and Furious movies are really his thing. He's the one that made that franchise what it is today, basically. He's the one that steered it on the correct path that it is now. And he was going to do the same with the Triple X films. I honestly... I'm not a big fan of the last two movies. As much as I love Fast Five, Furious Six, and the Fast and Furious movies, not a big fan of his other action franchise, Triple X. I saw the first Triple X years ago, and to be honest, I was pretty bored. It had some great action sequences. It has a really fun, big chase in the beginning, but overall, I was pretty just bored by it. You think a movie about like an extreme sports person becoming a spy full of dumb action sequences wouldn't be boring, but it was. And I watched it again a few months ago, and it was the same thing. I was pretty let down by it. I just, It's just kind of a dull movie overall. Triple X State of the Union came and went. It was a big flop. 
Samuel Jackson did come back for that film, as he did in the first movie. Uh, William Defoe's in it, and he's a he's always fun to watch. But man, I watched Triple X State of the Union a few months ago, right after I rewatched the first one, and I barely remember it. It I, I, it totally left me. I don't even really have any memory of that film. So I'm not a big fan of the franchise, but I was kind of wanted to be excited for this movie. It obviously is Vin Diesel kind of using the Fast and Furious formula to Triple X. Let's be honest, it's the whole team thing. It's a multicultural cast and you know what i'm okay with that if it works it works if it's better than the first two movies go for it so i shrugged my shoulders finally got a chance to go see this movie a few days ago and i'm just just like i just hope this movie's fun man it's either going to be fun and stupid or it's going to be just stupid and i'm happy to report that for me personally i did have a lot of fun with triple x return of Alexander cage I had a lot of fun, to be honest. It's a very entertaining, stupid action movie. And to be honest, even though it's exactly what I thought it was, there's nothing really too surprising about it, it was better than I thought it would be. Let's talk about all the pros of this movie first. Number one, Vin Diesel. He's cool. I love Vin Diesel. And Xander Cage is a cool character. Is he a very interesting character? No. Are any of the characters in this movie really interesting at all? No, not at all. But I liked them. All of Xander Cage's team that he assembles together in this movie were really cool. I liked them. They were fun. They were funny. They all had their own representative kind of fun action scenes. And they were awesome. And by the end of the movie, much, I actually cared about them. I wanted to see them win. I actually was a little worried for them at the end. Which is great. In a movie like this, that deserves praise. They were awesome characters. I loved them all. And I thought all the actors did a great job of what they had to do. I liked these characters. Donnie Yen plays the villain in this movie. And he's hands down the best part of it. He's Donnie Yen. He's awesome. Have you seen the It Man movies? Go see them. He is... Oh, he's, the, he's awesome. And all of his martial arts scenes in this movie are incredible. Yeah, Donnie Yen is awesome. He was great in Rogue One uh, a few months ago. And he's also awesome in this. He's great. And let's see. What else can I praise about this movie? Oh, that's right. The action scenes. The action scenes are awesome. They're really good. Are they as good as, say, George Miller's action scenes in the Mad Max movies? No. Are they as good as the scenes in Raiders of the Lost Stark, directed by Steven Spielberg? No. Okay, is there anything really extraordinarily brilliant about them? Not really, but hey, they're really fun. They're really well-directed. There are some times where the action's a little too choppy for my taste, but overall, they were really fun. There's a really cool motorcycle chase in the movie that I really enjoyed. Uh, the whole final battle in the end was pretty awesome. Uh, the big thing in the trailers that I, I feel okay talking about, because it's all in the trailers, it's the big marketing thing for this movie, is the introduction of Xander Cage. Is when, when he is basically stealing a power pack thing or something. I don't even really know what it is. And he on he's on skis, and he basically skis down the jungle, basically. It is awesome, and it's a great chase. But at the same time, it's like, how is that possible? Every bone in your body would be broken. <laughs> it's like, and you know what? There's lots of things like that in this movie. All the stunts. There's a scene where Donnie Yen jumps from another building to another, and he goes through the glass on, like, an office room, and he just lands perfectly. Donnie Yen's pretty awesome, so maybe I can buy Donnie Yen doing that, but... Ah, uh, yeah, no. There's so many things like that in this movie. Also... Like the Fast and Furious films. There's Fast and Furious films just... They're just like, gravity, what's that? But what works in the Fast and Furious movies is that a lot of the stunt work is real, and they are all they have an operatic, super good quality to them, and they're incredibly well-directed and well-made. Well Justin Lin and uh, James Wan, who made Furious 7, they made some great action sequences. Triple X Return of Xander Cage isn't quite on that level, but it's still fun. It's good. Now, let's talk about the flaws on this movie. You probably have noticed that I didn't start off this review by talking about the story. 
What, what can I say? It's triple X to return of Xander Cage. What, is the plot really... Ugh, does anyone care about that? Well, the plot of this movie is that Triple X, or rather Xander Gage, who is a Triple X agent, that's a thing, comes back from hiding to help the U.S. government find this thing called the Pandora's Box, that's the MacGuffin of this movie, that is being used by bad guys to drop satellites across the world. Adventures ensue. That's the plot of this movie. And it, it's barely there. But, you know what? It's just there to get a bunch of cool action sequences and stuff. And I understand that. Really, I was entertained by this movie overall. But my probably my biggest problem with it... Well, my second the biggest problem with it isn't really with the movie itself, but the marketing. No spoilers. But, recently, right before this movie came out, they had a very revealing trailer. I think it was even like in TV commercials. I don't even know if it was a full-length trailer. But basically, there's a cameo in this movie. That's all I'm going to say. It's a cameo. And I was honestly shocked that this cameo is in the movie. But I'm, I don't want to go into detail about it. No spoilers. Yeah, they revealed that this cameo in the trailer for the movie. What the heck? Why would you do that? It's not like, it's not exactly Darth Vader, Darth Vader's cameo at the end of Rogue One, where it's just mind-blowing and it's incredibly cool. Uh, it, it's not exactly that, but come on, why did you have to reveal that in the trailer? Why? It's, it stinks. I wish I didn't know that going in, and I wish I could sit down and just, I wish I could have known my reaction to that had I not known it was coming. But it was kind of cool, this cameo, and that's all I'll say on that. It, it was fun to see it happen. Overall, this is a fun movie. I enjoyed it. I was entertained by it. It is better than I thought it would be. And by the end of the movie, I was like, wow, that was an awesome movie. Great job. It was fun. It was well made. I like these characters. Again, are they interesting? No. But you like them. They're cool. But my biggest problem with Triple X Return of Xander Cage at the end of the day is that, well, it's exactly what it is. It's a disposable, silly action movie. And that's really what this movie is. It, it's disposable. You know, in the end of the day, I had fun with this movie. I liked it. I thought it was pretty well directed. I love watching Vin Diesel be awesome. It was a fun movie. But it didn't make me feel anything. I liked the characters... But I didn't really care for them, really, if that makes sense. I didn't really care about their situation. It was just awesome. For the most part, there's nothing in this movie that really surprises you. There are a few things in the third act which I didn't see coming, which was awesome. Again, props for that. Again, if you're going to... With a plot like, like this, if you can get me surprised by where the plot goes, then awesome. And that was really fun to see, but... In the end of the day, I saw this movie a few days ago, and there's a part of me that almost forgets that I saw it. Have you ever been at work or somewhere like that, and you have a lunch break, but then your boss comes and says, hey, like, you get a 15-minute lunch break today, we need you back here because it's super busy or whatever. So you take your lunch break, and you don't have any time to eat, like, an actual meal. You don't have any time to prepare the meal that you made the night before or go grab something. So you just go to the vending machines that are inside your office and you just buy whatever it is. You buy a chocolate bar, you buy some chocolate milk, you buy some cookies, some chips, and then you quickly scuffle it down and that's your meal for the day. It doesn't really fill you up, doesn't it? But it keeps you not from starving. And let's face it, all those treats, all that junk food is pretty tasty at the end of the day anyway. But it's not a meal. It's not like you feel like, oh, man, that was a great meal. I'm full. Not at all. It doesn't even fill you up at all. It just keeps you from starving. Triple X Return of Xander Cage is kind of like that. It's junk food. It's a movie that doesn't really leave any impact. It's ultimately kind of an empty experience. There is a little bit of heart in there. There is some message about friendship and coming together for the greater good and loyalty. Like, there's a little bit in there, especially more compared to the first two movies, but 
overall, it is an empty experience. It's just a movie that when you're starving, you get all the junk food and you eat it and it fills you up, but it doesn't really stick with you or anything. Having said that, it's Triple X, The Return of Xander Cage. Did you really expect anything different? I, I didn't. And you know what? I enjoyed the movie overall. And is there anything wrong with enjoying some junk food every now and then? No. Is there anything wrong with going to see a disposable action movie and having fun? Of course not. I made a review for Silence a few weeks ago, Martin Scorsese's new masterpiece. I absolutely loved it. I'll include it, a link to it down in the description. I loved it. It was a masterpiece. But I don't want every movie I see to be Silence. I don't want every movie I see to be a three-hour meditation on faith, right? <laughs> I would never go to the movies. I would be, de I'd be depressed all the time. It's okay having variety. And Triple X Return of Xander Cage, even if it's junk food, it is better than I thought it would be, and I did enjoy it all overall. Uh, so I'm going to give Triple X Return of Xander Cage a C plus. I think for a movie like this, I think that's a pretty fair grade. So, I would recommend seeing this movie. If it doesn't seem like the kind of movie you would like, you think you're going to hate it because it's too stupid, blah, 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 then don't go see it. Yep, simple as that. Then don't go see it. Wait to see something else. But for me, I enjoyed it. You guys are awesome. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for subscribing. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And never forget, I'm always there for you. I'm your friend. I'm always going to be your friend. Never forget that. Thanks a lot, guys. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. And prepare yourself for some very awesome news this weekend. Oh, you guys are the best. I'll see you next time.